This is your sign to stop complaining after watching this. Because complaining to the devil with worship is to God. If worship draws God, complaining draws the demons. Whoa. And I can prove it to you. Because when Israel complained, snakes came and bit him. Oh. And snakes speaks of demons and the devil oh. in the Bible. Wow. When you complain and you whine, whatever your reason for that is, you're actually whistling and calling out the devils of depression, heaviness and discouragement to come and mess more whoa, with whoa, your whoa, life. Whoa, whoa, but when you worship, you're goodness. calling out on God. Mm. God's angels begin to come and first thing God does is He sits on your praise. Yes. Oh my goodness, guys, this is your sign to stop complaining. Type amen in the comments if you believe in the Bible. If you believe in the power of God, type amen. And make sure to subscribe and follow my page for more. This is our sign, man. This is such a reminder for all of us that we need to be aware of the danger of complaining. Complaining is not normal. It should not be part of our language, period. As we think that complaining is a normal thing, right? Especially in the society in which we're living in this day and time with inflation and everything going up and down, COVID and everything that's happening, people are just freaking out and we don't know what to do. There's so much insecurity. We don't know what's going to happen. Is there a war war coming through? Like what is going to happen next? We just don't know. Just, the word is meant to make us worried about everything when you watch the news every day you are more stressed your blood pressure goes up because it's like oh my god they're shooting left and right who knows what's gonna happen next you're not sure where you're going what's gonna happen when you get there we there's so many reasons to be scared of what's happening around us there's so many reasons to be aware of your surroundings right but it's another thing to make that your lifestyle it's another thing to make that your everyday clothes pretty much it's like it's normal for you to just complain this is not normal you need to stop that right now okay as a child of god as a believer if you believe in the power of the bible you need to stop complaining okay so much and making it look like it's a normal thing because by doing that what you don't realize just like we learned today is that you're actually worshiping the devil so instead of complaining when you're having a situation that's hard a situation that you don't understand that you don't have any control over guess what you should do praise and worship god when you're faced with challenges with your children with your family maybe it's financial situation whatever it is instead of complaining and worrying so much guess what? You should trust God. You should worship God and say, God, I praise you for this thing. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Okay. Do that for Jesus. Do that for your sister in Christ. Okay. And leave a comment if you're blessed at any point of the message. If there's any particular part that touched you, you can share that with anybody. I've heard this thing instead of why are you doing this? Actually turn that around as a positive thing and declare that with faith it's like your child is misbehaving right as parents hello we know this and we're like why are you always doing this why you never listen instead of saying why you never listen you should actually say always listen man you are such a good listener i don't know if you see what i'm saying but like instead of taking something negative and making it look like you know it's so bad instead as believers we should take that and make it look the opposite way make it look like what it's meant to be make it look like that should be your prayer subject instead of just saying i'm so tired of this i'm so tired of this person doing this and this person doing that instead that should be a reminder to give your life to god to surrender okay the bible says don't worry about anything the bible reminds us do not worry about what you're gonna eat what you're gonna dress because we're not supposed to but we get so caught up in this world in our reality that we think it's normal to complain it's normal to leave with all the stress that we have but instead we have to remember that we should worship god more instead of complaining and giving all the credits to the devil as children of god children of the lights we should be worshiping god and praising god instead it's like god i don't have the money that i would like to have but i praise you for what i already have amen lord i worship you for what you're gonna give me and i thank you for what you're already given me okay this is a good way to look at things this is a good way to shift things instead of looking at the negative side of it and thinking this is the end of the world like what is going on lord I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this child. I'm tired of this situation. 
I'm tired of these jobs. Whatever the situation, understand that you have power in your mouth, okay? We can speak life and you can speak death through your tongue, just through your tongue. Whatever you're declaring is what's going to happen. It's like, oh my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. And then you end up dying just because you kept saying that and you thought it was normal, right? But the Bible tells us that there's power in our tongues. So make sure you're declaring the word of God over your life, over your children, over your family, over your finances, over your health. Even when you're dealing with so many health issues, whatever sicknesses that you have, instead of always complaining, Lord, why am I always having these health issues? Lord, why am I always dealing with this? Instead, you should focus and worship God and say, God, I am not healed fully yet, but I believe that you came and died on the cross so that I can have healing, that I can have freedom. Lord, I thank you and I praise you for healing my body. I love you guys and I'm looking forward to see you in my next video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, okay? Do that for Jesus. Do that for your sister in Christ, okay? Leave a comment. You can share that with anybody if you're blessed. And any point of the message, if there's any particular part that touched you, God bless you. Bye-bye.